Hallo und herzlich willkommen hier zurück zu Return to Monkey Island. Wir sind hier weiterhin auf Mealy Island. Ich mache mal hier das Mikro ein bisschen richtiger. Ein bisschen richtiger hier, die ganze Scheiß. So, und äh, ja, hier hat sich auch viel verändert. Viel ist hier verriegelt und verrammelt worden. Ähm, das spricht natürlich nicht unbedingt für Mealy Island. Äh, wir gucken mal. Hier war dieser Gebrauchtwarenladen oder Gemischtwarenladen, genau. Eine Notiz. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories. But cash would have been better. <lacht> nicht, dass er wegen uns äh, dicht machen musste. Ich glaube, wir haben den ja da damals leergeräumt, ne? The note den says, Safe. Forced to close. Also kommt Thanks man hier auch gar nicht rein, ja? Cash would have been better. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. Erinnert mich gerade an. Äh, na. Den Namen habe ich ein. Disney-Serie. Gravity Falls. Ja, böse aus Gravity Falls ist das sieht doch so aus. Ja, ja. Äh, guck mal, die alte Frau, was sie zu sagen hat. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Äh, okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Also hier kriegt man die ganzen. Things are not what they seem. All keys are gold. It's the way of keys. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. You can find a golden key, but you cannot own it. A lock is a beautiful thing. A key even more so. Okay, was hat sie denn mit Keys? If you listen close, you can hear the gears grinding. They're mostly gone now. Hardly anyone left to pick up the pieces. The queen always gives way to a new queen. Sehr aktuell. She vanished along with the ship. I told her not to go. Wie viel hat sie denn drauf? Smells like popcorn. Okay. <laughs> Some islands you should not visit. But what can you do? Okay, das reicht. Guck mal, was in der Gasse ist. Hier war damals schon nichts. It seems to be stuck closed. Okay, hier ist auch wieder nichts. This is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Hier war das Gefängnis, wo Otis drin war. A visitor! <laughs> Wait! Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all! I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway, for old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that... Too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone, while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. 
They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. <laughs> hey, ah, Stan. Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. <laughs> what exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Alles klar. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. See you later. Yep. Okay. Steht das jetzt auch hier drauf eigentlich? Nö. Aber machen wir trotzdem, oder? Eben die Zahnbürste bringen. Mal gerade hier gucken. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Okay, dann würde ich sagen, hier können wir jetzt erstmal nicht mehr wirklich was machen, glaube ich. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. At least the jail is well lit. Yeah, but the better I can see it, the worse it looks. Ah, sie spinnen. Hey, a spider. Ugh, it's that same spider. Ah, it's that spider again. Ugh, I simply <laughs> don't like looking at that spider. Ah, every time I look at it, it's somehow worse. Yikes! Why do 
do I keep looking at it? <laughs> Yikes. Why do I keep looking at it? <lacht> okay, guck mal. Also hier soll dieser Schlosser sein. Hi there, newcomer. Hi. Oh. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. <laughs> What's this lock? That's for hats. Hey. What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Oh, I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. He is awesome. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. <laughs> It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. Okay. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. Would she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. <laughs> I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. All at once? Well, how does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system. And I don't like it disrupted. Okay, wir gehen erstmal direkt da raus. Und schauen mal, ob wir irgendwie an diese Nummer da kommen. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Wir haben doch von Wally. Das, aber das ist nur eine Locke, keine Lupe. I can read the serial number. Ah. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Perfekt, dann gehen wir doch direkt rüber damit. Das geht doch einfacher alles hier, als wir dachten. Habe ich die schwere Version ausgewählt schon, back. oder? Hi there. Hi, na, ich habe die Serial Number aufgeschrieben, da. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure, good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. The same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. I had no idea. Okay. Hey, 
Guybrush. Hey, kid. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straits. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their names should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Das ist natürlich nur die Frage. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Ob wir das nicht einfach mit Stans auch machen? Warte mal, kriegen wir da die Serial Number? Most of the Serial Number has been rubbed off. Ah. Vor allem ist auch hier die Stan Musik. Hört ihr das mit da runter? Ah, oh, ist das geil. Toll. Thanks. Why do I keep looking at it? Okay, uh, Otis is also frei. Das ist schon mal gut. I think it's a chandelier. Looks sort of like an eye. So, gucken wir mal hier lang. Hier geht's, glaube ich, zum Governor. Nee, 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 nee. War das schon immer so nah an der Klippe hier? War hier nicht so ein Garten auch? Carla. Okay. Guy brush three wood. Ich habe ihn ja schon besiegt. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Okay, das sind nicht viele Auswahlmöglichkeiten. Let me show you what a hack looks like. <laughs> Pretty good, Guybrush. Right on point. It's nice to see you again. You too. I hope you're not still sore about that thing with the ship that one time. Ancient history. Oh, good. I can think of plenty of more recent things to hold against you. Oh. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? I've got my own project cooking. Of course you do. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. <laughs> Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. It's packed me was schwer aus, wenn sie reden oder was? I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Okay. Governor stuff. So, what's there to do? I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog. Please take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. You must admit, it's a lot of work being governor. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Malay Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what does not include Secret of Monkey Island. 
Oh. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Okay, ich glaube, Buch kriegen wir nicht. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Uh, I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Hier durch das Bild sind wir doch einmal gesprungen. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Edgy. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen. Na gut, dann gehen wir hier mal wieder raus. Guck mal, hier der hintere Weg. Konnte man den früher auch schon nehmen? Aha, unsere erste Übersichtsmap. Sehr schön. Guck mal, hier oben kommt man gar nicht hin, oder was? Meat Hooks Museum ist gone. So ist das Kabel zu his Island. It's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shortage. Hier war, glaube ich, der Zirkus. Der ist momentan auch nicht da. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Hier ist das Schwertmeisterhaus, ne? Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think the Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. Was eine gesunde Hausfarbe, also Conrad. Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. It's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it. But it was touching. Thanks a lot. <lacht> Und damit verabschieden wir uns jetzt erstmal. Und sehen uns in der nächsten Folge wieder hier bei Return to Monkey Island. Da hoffe ich auf die ersten äh, knackigen Rätsel. Bis jetzt ist viel Gerede, aber immer, immer weiter Flashbacks. Das ist einfach geil. Ciao, Leute.